name is Billy. Uh, I'll be 62 next month uh, from New York. I used to work as a professional chef. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in the winter of 1995. Eventually, um, I ended up looking on the internet for different you know, alternatives. So uh, I ran into Holly, who's a patient here, and um, I ended up calling her and we spoke about it. And um, she told me all about the Institute and her case and you know all the improvements she's seen. And then um, I learned about the book, Dr. Raven's book, Rising Tide. When I was first diagnosed, um, I had some uh, funny feeling in my fingertips. Like when I pressed my fingertips together, they kind of felt like they were denting almost. So it was odd. So I went to the doctor, you know, my local uh, general practitioner, and he said, it's probably anxiety. And then a week later, I called him back. I said, now it's in my heels. So he said, all right, I'm going to refer you to a neurologist. And, you know, they did the examination and then they did a, an MRI of the brain. They found a few lesions on my brain. And he told me that it's probably MS. After those symptoms came, my legs became very numb and really weak. And I had numbness around my torso and my left arm. It was really, it was very disturbing. Some of the other symptoms I developed was the band-like feeling we call the MS hug. Uh, it's around the torso. It feels like wearing something is constricting you. My left arm was numb. My hand was clumsy. My arm was clumsy. Vertigo came and went. A lot of, you know, parathesia feeling, numbness throughout, weakness, fatigue was unbelievable. After the doctor uh, examined, examined me, he put me on a uh, high dose medication, intravenous, and, um, you know, it helped. It helped uh, slow down the uh, attack. And, uh, you know, it took a few months to get back to normal. You know, I was pretty shaken. So I was mountain biking, skiing, I worked as a professional chef, and, uh, you know, having them, you know, finding out that I have this incurable disease, you know, scared the daylights out of me. My walking uh, was affected greatly, and, uh, you know, like I said, I used to mountain bike all the time and ski, and, I, I continued to do those things, but eventually I slowed down and then eventually I had to stop. Um, now, you know, it's the walking is tough. So it's, it's very, it's difficult, you know, just to get around the house, to, to stand and cook. You know, it's a, it's a chore. You know, I had a dog, I couldn't walk the dog. You know, so my son had to do it all the time. You know, so there were a lot, a lot of things that we take for granted and I just couldn't do those things anymore. And it was, it was, devastating really. When I came here for stem cells, it impacted my life little by little, like after I got home. The uh, numbness started to go away, the walking improved. I was able to get up and down from a chair quickly. So it was really amazing. The fatigue went away, just everything. Everything, all my symptoms just seemed to be better. My bladder was better. Everything that I was experiencing was improving. The uh, improvements from the cells, you know, um, allowed me to, you know, be more confident walking. The energy level was higher, and uh, just I was stronger overall. I just felt more confident. My eyesight got better. I even got pigment back in my hair. My hair turned a little bit brown on the sides. I think that the stem cells, what's helping me improve, I know that for sure. And it really, really changes the mindset. You know, it's good for the psyche and you, the depression lifts. You know, because with MS comes a little depression. It's amazing. If I was talking to uh, another patient that was, you know, pondering the idea of coming to Panama Stem Cell Institute, you know, I would recommend it. It's helped me in so many ways. And it's just, like I said before, just, you know, with the depression and just the outlook on life and the symptoms, you know, every, every, the cells help every part of the body. So I would definitely recommend it.